here's the proof. In Sahih Muslim, volume 5, hadith number 5611, we read, قَالَ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ أَغْيَضُ رَجُلٍ عَلَى اللَّهِ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ وَأَخْبَثُهُ وَأَغْيَضُهُ عَلَيْهِ رَجُلٌ كَانَ يُسَمَّ مَلِكَ الْأَمْلَاكِ لَا مَلِكَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ Which means, the Messenger of Allah, meaning Muhammad, said, The most hated of men before Allah on the day of resurrection, and the most wretched and the most hated to him, will be a man who was called Malik al-Amlak. For those of you who don't know, Malik al-Amlak means the King of Kings. So, we just read that the God of Muhammad, the Allah of the Qur'an, hates a man called the King of Kings. But who is this man with this distinctive and exalted title? Well, for the answer, let's turn to the Bible, the book of Revelation, written more than 500 years before Muhammad uttered those words. There, in chapter 19, we find an individual being described. Verse 16 says, On his robe and on his thigh he has a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. So, we've not only found the man who was called King of Kings, we've also found out his actual identity, because verse 13 says, he is clothed in a robe dipped in blood, and the name by which he is called is the Word of God. Now, we Christians know from the Gospel of John, chapter 1, the Word of God is a title referring to Jesus. But for you Muslims, you should also know this title refers to Jesus because Quran, chapter 4, verse 171 admits that Jesus is His Word. The word his in this verse refers to Allah. Therefore, the Qur'an is admitting Jesus is the word of God. In fact, in the Qur'an, no other prophet has been described with such a title. Adam is not called the word of God, nor are the angels, nor any other creature. Jesus alone gets distinguished and called God's word. So, in conclusion, we have found that the God of Muhammad hates the man.